All right, guys. So this is great. We have questions coming in right now. And the next question that I'm going to answer is from Marita Ray, which I know Marita. She's from um, Missouri, the good state of St. Louis, Missouri. I actually have a client out there and um, I've uh, worked with Marita on a few things. Definitely a great songwriter. So she has a question. She says, if I have written songs to unexclusive beats, can I put the song on streaming sites? I'm asking because I'm not sure if you have to own all aspects of your song to sell it. So to answer your question, Marita, what you want to do is you want to make sure that when you when you purchase a beat, you're not really purchasing a beat. You're actually purchasing a license to use the beat. So you want to make sure that you read through the stipulations of that <clears throat> of that licensing agreement to see what you can do with that track. So say, for instance, if you go to purchase a beat from someone and they have a basic license and then they uh, might have an unlimited license, the basic license might only allow you to sell physical copies of the of the record and you might only get the beat uh, in, in an mp3 format then if you go to the unlimited license it may give you the ability to have unlimited streams uh be able to sell unlimited units and you could also use it for t uh, tv and film placements and things like that so that's what you want to do you want to make sure that once you purchase a track that you're purchasing the license uh that that works for what your intended purpose is so the other thing is you want to make sure that you know what percentage of the track uh that you're going to get like if once the earnings start coming in because for a producer and a writer split is usually 50 50 between the writing and the publishing so i'll give you an example and uh, i'll log into my ascap so i can show you this and then we'll go to let's see we'll just go to this one i actually have two i have an ascap for my writers and then i have an ascap for my publishing and what when, when you know it, it's got me going through hoops. So let me do this right quick. All right. I'm going to remember the device. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to search here. And... We're going to go to this thing. It's called Song View. And basically what Song View is, Song View is a database of the majority of the songs that you're hearing on the radio, that you're hearing on television. This is ASCAP's and BMI's way of kind of keeping track of things as people are creating content, as people are creating new music. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to Start Searching. And from here, we can put in the title of a record. So I'm just going to put um, let's see if we can put uh, this record here. This is a record that I actually just got placed with uh, Chingy on his latest album. And so if we look, it's going to pull up the information here. So these are the splits. So you have 50% writer's control over here, and then you have 50% uh, of the publisher's control on this side. So with, uh, with this record, uh, Howard owns 50, uh, he owns 25% of the record. I own 25% of the record that equ equates to that 50%. We're both signed to ASCAP. So then you go on this side and then 50% on this side. So because I'm not signed to a major 
um, a major record label. I'm actually representing myself. So I get that uh, that 25 percent on this side uh, because Howard is signed to uh, Universal Music. He gets 12.5 percent on his side and then Universal takes a fee of 12.5 percent for representing him. So that equates to that 25 percent. And um, that gets to 50 percent on the publisher side, which the total current ASCAP share is 100 percent. So this is um, this is the breakdown that you want to make sure that as you're creating music, you're getting this taken care of because you want to make sure that your producer gets their cut and that you get your cut, too. And um, yeah. All of that will be found within the uh, the licensing agreement. So I hope that this answers your question, Marita. Uh, if you have any questions at all, you know, I'm only a, a message away and I'm always willing to, you know, help you guys out. So, yep. Talk to you later.